In this video, I'll be describing the machining operations to machine these brass offset cam nuts using both the Tormac 8L lathe and my CNC mill. These brass offset cam nuts are used to enable the roller bearings on the AccuSlice carriages to be adjusted for the smooth travel of these carriages on the AccuSlice rail. This is a detailed drawing of the offset cam nut for the AccuSlice carriage. I took the dimensions and other information from this cam nut drawing and produced the cam nut design in the Fusion 360 software, which will be described in detail in the second video of this series. This field described the machining of these brass offset cam nuts using both the Tormac 8L lathe and the CNC mill. Two separate machining operations are required to machine both sides of the cam nuts. The cam nuts are first machined on the Tormac 8L lathe to face off the brass stock and then drill and rigid tap the 1032 hole in the end of the machine piece and then shape the overall contour of the cam nut. The reverse side of the cam nut is then machined in the CNC mill to create this half inch offset and then drill and machine the Allen driver hex hole in the face of the cam nut. These cam nuts are used to adjust the roller bearings on the base of the carriages on the AccuSlice system. On the AccuSlice system, there's, there's three of these roller bearings. Two are fixed, and this middle one is adjustable with this brass offset cam. Uh, and what it does, it moves this roller bearing in and out to make it you know, closer, further away from these other two roller bearings. So these ride on the uh, sides of the rail. And you see this rides pretty smoothly and freely right now, but it has some vibration. So by rotating this with the hex head and the uh, cam nut, I can tighten it up to make it a little tighter and even tighten it up more. And that reduces the movement, makes it tighter, and you get less vibration in your carriage. So that's the whole purpose of these cam nuts, is just to adjust the tension on the roller bearing so it rides uh, either smoother or, or uh, less smoothly on the uh, rail on the AccuSlice system. To machine these brass offset cam nuts on a Tormac 8L lathe, I'll be using a gang tooling hardware that I designed to produce for the 8L lathe. This gang tooling is described in several of our other YouTube videos. I'd also modified my 8L lathe to convert the OXA tool post to AXA tool post to improve the rigidity of the machining operation. Again, this conversion is described in some of our other YouTube videos. I'll be using four tools mounted on a gang tooling base. On the front tool post, I'm using a right hand cutting tool with inserts for the facing and contouring operations. In the center two tool holders, I'm using a number 19 drill and number 1032 tap to drill and tap the center hole in the cam nut. In the back tool holder, I'll be using a parting tool, which is turned upside down to enable the parting off of the cam nuts from the rear. I did spend a good bit of time setting up and aligning the four tools on the gang tooling base. It was important that each of the tools would have distance needed to complete their operations but I also need to make sure that none of the tools would crash with the brass bar in any of the cutting operations. The various mounting positions of the two center tool holders gives me a great deal of flexibility to set and align each of these tools. Before I actually ran the lathe, I manually tested each of the tools to make sure that there would be no collisions with the brass bar or the lathe collet holder. Okay, here we have the actual operating of the lathe. First of all, using the front tool to face off the bar. I'm doing that in two separate steps. Next, I'm using a number 19 drill to drill the center hole in the brass bar. And I'm using pecking motion to drill this hole. So I'm using the 1032 tap to rigid tap the hole in the center of the bar. Next, I'm using the front right hand cutting tool to cut the outside profile of the brass offset cam nut, machining both the stem end and the base hub. Since I'm using gang tooling, each of the tooling operations continues with no interruptions or stops for tool changes or machine operations. This produces machine parts as rapidly as possible. The final operation uses the rear parting tool to cut off the cam nut to its required length. This is a close-up view of the complete turning operations of the second cam nut. I produced a total of 100 of these cam nuts using the game on the Tormac 8L lathe.
Machining of the opposite end of the cam nut was accomplished on my CNC mill. I set up my vise to enable the machining of two cam nuts at one time. For this first operation, I'm using a 1 quarter inch end mill to machine the offset flange on the back end of the cam nut. The center position for this 1 half inch diameter flange is offset by 0.025 inches from the center stem on the opposite side of the cam nut. This operation could have been done on my lathe with a custom jig, but I just found it easier to machine this offset flange on the CNC mill. Next, I use a 0.201 inch diameter drill to drill a hole 0.25 inches deep in the face of the flange. I then use a rotary brooch to produce a six-sided Allen driver hole in the center of the previously drilled hole. The hex-shaped hole produced by this rotary brooch will enable a 3 16th inch Allen wrench to rotate the cam nut. And these are the two finished cam nuts. Once again, this is a close-up view of the complete milling of the opposite end of the brass offset cam nut. I produced a total of 100 of these cam nuts for this project. Here's a close-up view of some of the finished offset cam nuts. The AccuSlice carriage has a one half inch diameter countersunk hole into which the brass offset cam nut will be inserted. The cam nut flange with the hex hole is inserted into this countersunk hole with the hex hole facing upward. On the opposite side of the carriage base, a standoff with a one quarter inch center hole is first inserted onto the shaft of the cam nut. Then the roller bearing is inserted into the same cam nut shaft. The roller bearing is then held in place with a 1032 screw, which is screwed into the center tapped hole in the brass offset cam nut. This concludes this video on the production of the brass offset cam nuts for the AccuSlice carriages. In this video, we demonstrated the manufacture of these cam nuts using both a CNC lathe and a CNC mill. There will be a follow-up video to this video in which I will describe the production and editing of the G-Code software, which is used to machine these cam nuts on a Tormac 8L lathe. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call or drop us an email. Thank you once again.